Hi guys and welcome back to my lifestyle series, which we've jam-packed with foods focused around plant-based nutrition, wellness and lifestyle tips, and interviews with fellow fabulous females. So today I'm gonna to start with my spicy bean delicious beauty tacos. Now tacos usually have a bad reputation of being unhealthy. However, tacos are a staple in our household and are a tradition for Taco Tuesdays. I mean, you can't live without your tacos, right? It really just comes down to experimenting with different colorful flavors and ingredients and not overdoing it with the heavy toppings. So let's get started. So for this, you're going to need pinto black beans that you can get um, in the can. You can get them plain, but if I, I like a little extra spice and this one had a little spice to it with chili in it. Maple syrup, garlic, and then the sea salt and pepper. And my coconut oil sauce. So this is the cooking part. Now for the guacamole, you're gonna take an avocado. Make sure it's ripe, because it's much easier to mash. This is very ripe, so that's good. Put it in the bowl. So just get as much green as you can. Also the juice of half a lemon, because save the other half for the salsa. Just about a little bit. You're gonna take a little bit of garlic, minced garlic, or you can crush one. Pepper. A little bit of sea salt. So this is one to two. Now if you have more people, add more avocado, more ingredients. But this will give you a good start for a good guaco. That's a very basic guaco, but it does the job. So this is your salsa. I pre-cut about four plum Romana tomatoes. They're quite big and that got me about that much, almost two cups. Okay. A little bit of sea salt. Okay, and I'm actually gonna finely cut some green chilies. Now, these bad boys are very spicy, so it's just about finely cutting around. However, you can handle spice, then use a whole one. But I'm still bit of a wimp when it comes to spice. Set that aside. And I'm using soft sh uh, hard shell tacos, these ones. I preheated the oven, don't put them in quite yet. It's just to soften them a little bit and make them a bit more crispy. So I'm gonna take my organic coconut oil. As we all know coconut oil has amazing beauty, health and well-being benefits. It's much better to cook with. Olive oil is wonderful for you, but make sure you eat it raw, whereas coconut oil is the best oil to use when you're eating foods. You can also just take plain bean, pinto beans, but you just have to cook them for longer so they become kind of quite mushy like this. Beans are not only really tasty, but very filling and a great alternative as opposed to chicken or beef, what you usually put on tacos, like what the norm is. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drizzle some maple syrup. And you're gonna be like maple and beans, but it goes really good together. I mean, I'm Canadian, so I put maple syrup on everything. Then you're gonna put some sea salt, some black pepper, a little sprinkle of paprika. So it's gonna do that. So you're gonna keep this for a few minutes until it's completely mush. Like I said, you can use pinto beans but make sure it looks like that in the end. I've got that on a low heat now, and I'm gonna pop the tacos in the oven for a couple minutes. Okay, so while the taco shells are warming up, the last part of the recipe is for the sour cream. Coconut yogurt I'm using instead, but it does Tastes amazing and is a plant-based version to give you that creamy finish for your taco. It's fine. And then I'm gonna get sriracha. Can't live without this stuff. I bought a bit of spice in the, the refried beans, but you can get them plain. 
and I've added a bit of the green chili. So we've got spice covered, hence the name of the recipe, spicy and delicious beauty tacos. So for the finishing touch, you start with the refried beans, okay? And then the tomatoes. Voila, yum. These spicy Be Delicious Beauty Tacos are packed with protein, skin-loving vitamin E, and immune-boosting vitamin C, both potent antioxidants that help fight free radicals that causes accelerated aging. Now, since tacos are a staple in my household, these make a great, easy to make, simple dinner, especially if you've got friends that are coming over last minute and you don't have a lot of time. Just make sure to serve them with some spicy margaritas. For the recipe, go to the link below and don't forget to like and subscribe. For next time, see you soon. Mm.